Imagine for a moment that you're sitting outside, gazing at the night sky, just taking a moment to relax. Everything is calm and you feel at peace when suddenly you see a shooting star streak across the starry sky. But what you might not know is that every shooting star is actually a meteorite. Now take a look at the rock appearing on your screen. Would you believe me if I told you that this rough, irregular, and seemingly flawed stone could be worth millions of dollars depending on where it came from? Well, this is what's left of a shooting star after it manages to survive its fiery journey through Earth's atmosphere. And there's a reason why these stones can be so valuable. So pay close attention, because in today's video, we're going to break down how much meteorites can be worth, listing all the key characteristics that can help you determine whether your discovery is just an ordinary terrestrial rock or a genuine fragment from space. After all, if you happen to find the right specimen, it could change your life forever. But the big question that probably brought you here is, how can you tell if that strange rock you found might actually be a meteorite? And what are the chances of finding a valuable meteorite? Maybe you've never come across one before, or maybe you have and just didn't recognize it. After all, meteorites can look pretty ordinary at first glance. The truth is these space rocks fall at any time of day, at night while you're sleeping, during school or work, meaning a meteorite could have landed right near your home without you even knowing it. And to give you an idea of what we're talking about, according to NASA, approximately 48.5 tons of meteoric material fall to Earth every single day. These rocks travel through space for millions of years before finally being pulled in by Earth's gravity, bringing them crashing down through our atmosphere. That's why it's crucial to know if that strange rock you found might actually be a meteorite, and even more importantly, whether it could be worth a fortune. Now take a look at this example. This tiny rock weighs just 77 grams and is worth around $12,800. Sounds unbelievable, right? But it's real. And here's another one, slightly larger at 363 grams, valued at an astonishing $45,500. Not bad for an ugly rock found by chance. It's like stumbling upon lost money on the ground. But what makes these rocks so special? Even though they're extremely rare, meteorites can be found anywhere on the planet. That means that, while it's definitely a challenge, it's still possible for anyone to find one, no matter where you live. At first glance, they may look like ordinary rocks, but they are actually space fragments composed of valuable minerals, and depending on their origin, their prices can skyrocket. One of the most sought-after types is lunar meteorites, which, as the name suggests, came directly from the moon. That's exactly why knowing how to identify them is so important, these fragments don't follow a predictable pattern when they fall. They simply land on Earth without warning. Recognizing one when you see it is the most powerful tool you can have. So if you ever come across a rock that looks different from all the others, you might be holding something truly special in your hands. Lunar meteorites and other space rocks contain the same minerals found here on Earth, but in unique combinations, forming structures that don't exist in terrestrial rocks. On top of that, some of these stones contain minerals that have never been discovered on our planet, making them even more mysterious and fascinating. But how do these fragments from the moon end up here on Earth? It all starts with violent meteor impacts on the lunar surface. Many meteors never even reach the ground when they fall on Earth because they burn up due to friction with our atmosphere. However, since the moon has no atmosphere to slow them down, meteors strike its surface at full force launching millions of fragments into space. Eventually, some of these pieces make their way to Earth, allowing us to study them. And if you're lucky, maybe even find a real piece of the moon. And when we talk about lunar meteorites, we're talking about some of the most valuable rocks on Earth. One of the largest ever discovered weighs about 13.5 kilograms, 30 pounds, and is valued at an astonishing $2.5 million. What's interesting is that because these meteorites are incredibly dense, they don't have to be huge to be heavy or to fetch insane prices. Meteorites in general are made of metal, primarily iron and nickel. And while they might look like ordinary rocks at first, they have some distinct features that set them apart. So the first thing to check is the weight. Since meteorites are rich in iron, they are usually much heavier than earth rocks of the same size. So if you come across an unusually dense stone, that's already a good sign to investigate further. Another key factor is appearance. A meteorite won't look like the other rocks around it. It will stand out, something that just doesn't match the rest of the environment. 
Unlike common terrestrial rocks, it won't have many other similar stones nearby. Of course, there are many heavy rocks on Earth, such as those rich in iron ore, and some minerals like hematite can have a dark or metallic color. However, these rocks tend to appear in large quantities in the same region. In other words, if you find one, you'll likely find many others nearby. But meteorites don't behave like that. They are solitary travelers. If you find one, chances are you won't find another in the same area. But here's a warning. Not every dark and unusual looking rock is a meteorite. There are many terrestrial rocks with an unusual appearance, and they can easily mislead an untrained eye. So, the first thing to check is the weight. Since meteorites are rich in iron, they are usually much heavier than earth rocks of the same size. So if you come across an unusually dense stone, that's already a good sign to investigate further. Another key factor is appearance. A meteorite won't look like the other rocks around it. It will stand out, something that just doesn't match the rest of the environment. Another characteristic worth noting is flow lines. These look like small, dried-up stream channels carved into the rock's surface or like melted wax drippings. Sometimes these lines are visible to the naked eye, but in some cases they can only be identified under a microscope. If you find a rock with these features, it's worth investigating because you might be holding a real fragment from space. Just like reg maglips, flow lines also form due to the partial melting of a meteorite's outer layer as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. This process creates unique patterns on the surface of these space rocks, something that simply doesn't happen with terrestrial rocks since they don't go through this type of transformation. Chondrite meteorites, which are the most common type, can sell for around $5 per gram online. But if we're talking about a lunar meteorite or an extremely rare specimen, the value can exceed $1 million. It all comes down to properly analyzing the material. To be sure of what you found, Follow the step-by-step -step process I explained. If you still have doubts, you can send a sample for testing at a specialized museum or look for a university with a geology lab. Many of these places offer meteorite identification tests and can even evaluate its rarity and value with qualified professionals available to help you. But if you want to improve your identification skills, I recommend looking up photos and videos online. The more you study real meteorite images, the easier it will be to recognize key features when you come across a suspicious rock. And speaking of that, if you already have a rock that you suspect might be a meteorite, it's worth running a few tests. If you're unsure, come back to this video and make sure to watch the next one, where I'll show you a detailed step-by-step -step guide to identifying a meteorite with precision. Because sometimes you may have found a meteorite and not even realized it. And before thinking about selling it, the most important thing is to confirm its authenticity. However, during your searches, you might also come across other valuable minerals such as topaz or even more common stones like jasper or petrified wood. These gemstones, much like meteorites, can often be found right on the surface without the need to dig too deep. This is especially true if you're looking for meteorites and gems in untouched natural areas where human development hasn't interfered, such as fields, forests, and remote riverbeds. To help you identify these minerals with confidence, we've put together a complete guide called Gemology Journey for Beginners, available through the first link in the description. In this guide, you'll learn how to identify gemstones using simple at-home methods, along with detailed tables listing the characteristics of every gemstone cataloged worldwide, so you can explore your region, no matter where you live. And as an added bonus, you'll also get a collector's mineral chart and an extra ebook with specific tests to identify real diamonds in nature. Normally, this complete package is available for $20, but to celebrate 75,000 subscribers on the channel, you can get it now for 50% off, just $10. Even better, the first 10 copies will be available for only $4.99. Plus, you get a seven-day money-back guarantee, so you can explore the material with no risk. So don't miss this opportunity. Start your journey into the world of meteorites and gemstones today. Click the first link in the description and learn how to identify your gemstones with confidence. But if this isn't the right time for you, that's okay. You can still subscribe to the channel and watch the next video, which is already on the screen. In it, you'll take your first step into this fascinating world, learning practical methods to find other valuable gems, including diamonds, topaz, and tourmalines. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good luck, Gem Hunter.